welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be installing a wig from recoil hair i received a 22 inch curly wig 13 by 4 frontal this is what the wig looks like straight out the box as you can see it has small knots and the hairline is already pre-plucked but i'm still gonna pluck it a little more The wig came as a full lace frontal, so I have plenty of parting space. I'll be doing a creative hairstyle with this um, wig. Inside the bag, I also received a bunch of stuff like eyelashes, comb, wig caps, and more. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to bleach and pluck your frontal. In the next video, I'll be showing you guys installing the same wig that I'll be plucking in this video. When I'm bleaching the laces, I use Quick Blue Bleaching Powder and 40 Volume Developer. I used about one and a half scoops of quick blue bleaching powder and I always put a little bit of developer and if I need more I'll just add it in. As you can see when I mixed the powder and the developer together the texture was too thick so I went ahead and added more developer in there so it can be a more smoother texture. Now the developer, now the mixture was too thick so I added a little bit more powder to even it out. And this is the results. Now here's a before look of what the wig looks like before it's been bleached and now we're going to apply the bleach to the lace. When you're applying bleach to the wig you want to make sure that you don't press hard just so it won't seep through the lace and get on the roots of the hair. When you're finished applying all the bleach to the lace, you're going to flip it back um, on the right side and remove all the little pieces of hair that are attached to the bleach. It may not happen to you, but whenever I bleach hair, I try to get all the hairs out of the way before I let it sit because I don't want those strands to be bleached. And this is what the wig looks like after it's been bleached. As you guys can see, the front knots bleached properly, but there are some in the back that didn't bleach as much as I wanted it to, but we're still gonna work with it. For plucking the wig, you will need a canvas head, a tweezer with a slant on it, a comb, a mist spray bottle, and that's it. The first thing that I do before styling, I mean plucking any wig, is take out all the baby hairs that I'll be using.
I take out all the baby hairs that I'll be using first so I won't end up plucking them out. The next step before plucking is to make your client's part. My client is doing a middle part. Well, not a middle part. We're doing some braids on this frontal. But I know for a fact that there will be a middle part. So I'm parting out the middle so I won't pluck in that area. Now that I've mapped up the hairstyle, I'm going to take my tail comb and separate all the pre-plucked hairs from the part that I'm plucking. I do this so that I can have a more realistic hairline and not pluck out the part that's already plucked. When I'm plucking, I don't directly pluck on the hairline. I try to go behind and not pluck in the same area for a long period of time. Here's a clip showing you guys the pace that I go when I'm plucking the wigs. In this clip, you can also see better that all the knots weren't plucked. That's another reason why I'm plucking in the same spot because they aren't as easy to come out when they're not bleached properly. This is how much hair came out from that one section of me plucking. When plucking your hairline, try to not make the um, gaps between plucking as wide. You want to give it a more natural look, so try to go as close as possible while not making it have a bold spot. You guys can see the difference between the plug part and the non-plug part in this clip. Now I'm just going to repeat the same step and take out all the parts that I plucked and pluck behind the hairline again. Once 
when I'm plucking again for the second time, I don't pluck the whole hairline. I only pluck the middle part of the hairline, if that makes sense. You guys can see in the clip where I'm plucking, but I don't pluck across the whole hairline again. Now I'm just going to push back all the hairs that I took out the first time and lightly pluck over the hairline again. Here's another normal pace clip of how I'm plucking. Now this is the side that's plucked and I'm going to show you guys the side that's not plucked just so you guys can see the difference between the, the difference of what plucking does. I plucked the other side of the wig off camera so now I'm going to show you guys how I hot comb the wig before installing it. The first thing I do before hot combing is part hair out at the back of the front tool to cover all the tracks in the back. When hot combing the front tool, I use my Kara wax stick and my hot comb.
for hot combing, always use the wax stick to help you press down the part that you want to hot comb. Now you're going to hot comb the entire hairline of the wig back. This helps you get all the pieces that you wouldn't be able to get on your client's head flat. This is the end of the video this is how i prep my clients wig before installing them the next clip i'll be showing you guys the hairstyle that i'll be doing with this wig and the next video i post will be showing you guys me installing the wig remember to like comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys would like to see next